Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create a pattern fill or a masking fill in Fusion 360. So if you would like a copy of the final models, please check the link in the description below and we'll jump straight into Fusion to have a go. So what we're going to create in this design now is a masked pattern. So I've created a body as you can see here, which is a simple square, which I've extruded by 10 millimeters. I've then created a copy of that, and that's important. So the way I create a copy is select the body here, go Control and C, and Control and V, and then just click OK, and that will create a copy over the top of the previous body. So I've got a body here, the original in purple, and then I've got a copy, okay, as you see underneath. Now what I've got here now, is two sketches. The first sketch, I've created this hole here. This is where I want the pattern to go inside. So now I'm gonna click on extrude, select this, and I'm gonna cut that all the way through. So this is minus 10 and click okay. So I've got where I want the pattern to go, turn it off. And now I'm gonna to go to my original and this is where the pattern is gonna be created and then we'll merge them together. So I've created this sketch up here using two polygons to create the hexagons. And now I'm gonna go in and cut and remove those two. So I'm gonna click on the bottom edge to remove them. You could create this pattern using um, the pattern on the path, or you could even use a circular pattern. But in this instance, I'm gonna go for a rectangular pattern. The features I want to pattern is the one that I've created. Okay, and the direction, so I'm gonna choose this edge here. It's so gonna drag that out here to go that direction and then this direction here. And I'm gonna check on my sizing and spacing. So, and, and how many sort of instances I want. So I'm gonna go for four spaced by 24 in that direction. And I'm gonna go for seven, okay, spaced by 14 in that direction. And it all depends on the shape and the pattern that you want to create. So I'm gonna click okay. And you can see I've created this honeycomb now, but I've obviously obviously got all this going around the outside. So what we're gonna do now is, if we turn that sketch off and find this body here, the gray one, we're gonna merge those together, which then we'll just leave this pattern, okay, on the inside of this curved shape. So I've turned both on. I'm gonna go up to combine, target body, Okay, is going to be this body here. And the tool is going to be this body here. And because we're combining them together, it could be you could do those in either order actually, because you're combining them or joining them together. I'm going to go keep tools, join together, click OK. And what that's done, if we just hide this, okay, is merge those two together and created this design here. So it's filled that shape now with that repeated pattern. And of course, if I go into any of these features here, I can change, okay, the outcome of what that creates. So for example, if I go up to, let's roll this back, okay, and turn on the bodies, turn on that one, turn on that one, go to here, okay. So we've got 10 millimeters on that. If I wanted to change that to five, click okay. You see what it's now created is instead of going all the way through, it's only gone part way through. So it depends on what you want to create in terms of uh, the design, okay, and geometry that you want to create. So very quickly, I created there, okay, that sort of patterned, okay, fill. The masked pattern feature could also be applied to curved geometry, as you can see here. So what I'm going to do is just going back in time and show you how I created this. So I created this sort of half spherical shape here, a half ball shape. I've then created a sketch, okay, as you'll see here on top. And what I'm going to do is use this to remove the material to create like the envelope of the shape that I want to fill in with a pattern. I've come along and I've actually shelled that out so you can actually see. And then really important if to for this particular technique is to create a body, okay, a copy of the body. So now I have, okay, two copies of this, which is really important. So we're just gonna work on this copy now. So 
So the way I've copied that, as I've previously said, is go control on the first body, control, and then V, click OK, and you'll have a copy right on top of the other one. So we've now cut this through. Okay, if you see on here, we cut all that all the way through that sketch. We turn that sketch. So that's where I want my pattern to sort of fill. What I've done now is created another sketch, okay, on that surface, which is sketch three, which is my pattern. Like so. So as you see there. So I've created this linear pattern. And what we're going to do now is extrude that through. So I've cut that all the way through the design here. And you can see it's sort of cut all the way through and uh, sort of deformed some of these parts here. But that doesn't matter because I'm going to merge it all together. So I'm going to hide that sketch. And I've got that now. And I've got, remember, I've got the body underneath. So that plus that. So we're now going to merge those together. And if you click combine, okay. And you'll see in the options here, you click combine, you select the two bodies and join. Okay, you can click on keep tools, okay, to keep the tools or untick that. And then what you've got then is those two bodies have merged together to create that repeated pattern, which fills that sort of hexagonal envelopes. If you look from the top, okay, it's a hexagonal pattern filling an hexagonal envelope in that top view. And of course, you can see here where the pattern's not quite right. You can obviously go back, okay, into your sketches and edit your sketch until you get your desired shape and pattern. Thanks for watching. And if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe. And also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.